and we're live, Cuzzo. Welcome back to the Electors Podcast. This is episode 36. Today's episode is going to be on being thankful. We got Thanksgiving coming up right around the corner in about two weeks, I believe it is. Yeah, it's about what, So, uh, yeah, we're going to be discussing some of the things that we're thankful two for. Um, but we would also really appreciate it if you guys took the time to dr- just write down three things in the comment section down below that you're thankful for. We would greatly appreciate it. And we'll remind you again at the end of the episode. So let's get right into it. Yeah, let's get right into it, Cuzzo. So, like you said, titles, being thankful, mm-hmm. love yours, as J. Cole says. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I've always liked that song when he when he dropped it, mm-hmm. you know, because it got, you know, got my mind thinking, mm-hmm. you know. So uh, uh, what is it? What does it mean to you when you maybe if you heard maybe we could just use that song for now. Maybe just use kind of like how you, sure. how you described everything uh-huh. in that song. Yeah. How is it applied or how have you applied it to like your life? The way that I've applied it, man, is just understanding that um, ultimately, man, you can you can search far and wide outside of the things that you have in your life for happiness and, you know, and joy. But ultimately, you have to look around you and be thankful and grateful of the things that you do have in your life. If you've got a family that loves you, friends that care about you, you know, have decent coworkers. Right. Life's not that bad. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's really, really not. So. No, it's really not that bad. I, I, I can agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, cause you talked about, like, awareness, mm-hmm. too. You know, I think a lot of us struggle with that, even, like, myself, you know, from time to time, just being aware of what you got. It's tough. You know, it's – and then you – because you're always thinking about what you don't got. Right, because we live in a society, man, that's constantly pushing consumerism, you know. Yep. There's always uh, – like he says in the song, man, there's always a new car, there's a bigger yeah. house, you know. Uh, a prettier woman potentially right you know there's all these things that they want you to uh to try to go after but it doesn't necessarily mean you have to yeah you know? yeah yeah like the car thing too because i've you know you know we all started with the hoopty right mm, oh yeah so yeah. then you know now driving a newer car and then you see the newest year come out and you're like man like my car my car is new still Right. You know, because I got a 21, right. you know, and now it's a 20, the 24s are out. Yeah. But now these things look like spaceships. Yeah, they do. They and do. I'm just like, yeah. damn. All these, all the cars now, anything yeah. past 2021 or 22 is, is super futuristic now. Yeah. Yeah. So like now, you know, I learned to just kind of look at my car and then drive it. And then, you know, just be like, man, type the, the car that I'm driving is, is, is good like it's not there's nothing wrong right with it. right you don't have to go out no 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 and get no. The 2024 right you know right no, right for sure for sure man yeah, yeah i uh yeah i would agree man like i i've i've had hoopties and i've had really nice cars right and i mean yeah the really nice car is it's, it's fun to drive right but it does do the same thing as the hoopty Right, it does get you from point a to point yeah B, it does you it's know? the same thing might have a few extra features but right right um right. But so for the month of November, man, uh-huh. um, what is d- does it take on a different meaning for you? Like just because it's Thanksgiving, or is this um, theme of love yours? Is that something that you're working on throughout the year? It's something that I always try to work on throughout the year. But yeah. I think around the holidays, you know, November is usually the start of the big holiday, the, the bigger holiday, you know, right. being Thanksgiving. Um, but you always usually spend time around family. You know, um, and so just the holidays in general, I try to slow down, Yeah. you know, and remind myself like, man, my, you know, my grandparents that are still alive, they only have so much time left. Right. Aunts, uncles, et cetera. So just be a little more present. Yeah. You know, going back to like, that's something else to be thankful for. Right. right. The, uh, the awareness of yourself to be like, OK, you know what I need to the bills are going to be there. You know, everything else is going to be there. But time with the people that I love and care about there that's that's limited right you know, time itself is limited right what about you uh yeah the same same thing for me man it's uh you know like we talked about in our last episode you mm-hmm. know constant reminders um you know i'm big on that mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so uh kind of like how you listen to that podcast and that guy goes through his morning whatever you know mine's not as intense right but when i wake up you know my my mind t- tends to race right away yeah about everything that has to go on and then um and then after after it races real quick Mm -hmm. then it slows down Mm -hmm. and then i start hitting like you know not not like the morning mantra or whatever like he does but like the things like i know i have to put in order or prioritize right um so yeah it's like an everyday thing and then when thanksgiving comes 
um you know it's uh it, it kind of like enhances it you know it just mm-hmm. more or puts yeah. more emphasis on it for sure you know for sure um and then this year has been a big year of uh paying attention to who's around mm-hmm. you know instead of searching for who's not there right you know that's been a big big thing for me actually for like the past three years but more so this last year has been kind of you know dialing in yeah. to seeing like who's really around right now yeah who who really calls your phone true who sends you a text who says happy birthday yeah. who remembers your birthday you know all that true. stuff true um has been tying into this year mm-hmm. and then once i started to figure that out mm-hmm then it was like easier for me to be thankful for who's already there. Now sure. I can turn to those people more than before. For sure. Because now I'm like more aware, like, man, you've been around forever. Yeah. But I was out there, you know, messing around, trying to, you know, whatever, find new friends or hang right. out somewhere. No, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. whatever whatever the case may be. But yeah. And um, I think that that's something that's very common. Like, yeah. I think a lot of us we do that. You know, we we keep we continue to look outwardly, right? To yep. um you know, not even necessarily make ourselves happy, but to interact, to be social. Yeah. But there's plenty of people around you, your friends and your family, like you're saying, and it may be a small group of people. It may only be five of right. your friends, you know, right. that, that actually reach out to you and text you happy birthday or, hey, man, how you doing? Is everything good, et cetera, et cetera. But you would much rather have five quality friends than know 100 people that you just barely, you know, interact with from time to time, but you're right. always texting them. They're all, you know, that. Right. It can be it can be exhausting, right? You know, trying to find that that uh, that validation. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like I saw a quote from Mike Tyson. As crazy as he he was back then, he's mm-hmm. actually, I mean, he, the way he thinks is, oh, is, he's uh, he's a genius. Yeah, in his own chaotic way. Right, he's a genius. And he, he he the quote was a uh, uh, a man who's friends with everybody or everyone. Uh-huh. I'm putting this in summary. So a man who's friends with everybody or everyone is an enemy to himself. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. You know, like I was Marinate just like, on that I was like, yeah, you know, let that cook for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, cause that, you know, tying into what we're, you know, talking about who's, yeah. who's sending you happy birthdays, who's doing that, who's doing yeah. this. Um, you know, it's true, man. You can't be friends with everybody cause not yeah. everybody's gonna be friends with you. No, and, and yeah, it can disrupt your inner peace. Yeah. You know, I think that's something that as I've gotten older, I've always kind of, uh, I've known a lot of people but I yeah. also enjoy my solitude. Right. You know, I believe solitude is important. Um, I'm naturally more introverted, even though my 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 career requires me to be extroverted. Right. So spending that time alone, you know, and only having a small group of people that I have reached out to over the years, you know, really had deep conversations with et cetera, et cetera. Right. All that's done is just magnify and increase the relationship that I have with myself. Right. You know, which I think is ultimately the one of the most important things you should do. Right. And one of the most important things that I'm thankful for is having a better relationship with myself. Yep. You know? Yep. And yeah. And that's time. Yeah. That does take time. That's something we all got to work towards. Um, what are, what would you say are three to five ways or that you go about, you know, reminding yourself to love yours or be thankful throughout the year or just we'll keep it specific to, thanksgiving what are three to five ways that you do that so like the first thing that comes to my mind is this idea that um you know i'm I'm, i try to stay in a mindset of wanting to improve you know Mm -hmm. self-improvement right so i i try to hold myself accountable in that way yeah as best as i can but like most people man i fall short yeah right and in those moments where i do fall short one of the issues that i have that i think a lot of people have is that you beat yourself up Right. 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 You're, you're, you're way harder on yourself than you are with everybody else. You give right. everyone else grace, but you forget to give it to yourself. Right. Right. So in the moments, especially this year, man, where I feel like I've fallen, where I feel like I've, you know, taken a step back or two, I have to remind myself it's OK. Yeah. Give yourself yeah. some grace and also love yourself through the process of it. Right. Because I think that's where we mess up, too. You right. know, it's not loving ourselves in that moment while trying to, you know, achieve all these things. Right. So just just checking in with yourself constantly, you know, uh, is one of the things that I'm thankful for. Okay. Um, and that's one of the ways you kind of stay 
stay on on reminding yourself exactly checking exactly, in with exactly. yourself yeah checking in with yourself um you know and it can be something as simple as when you're driving down the road not listening to any music not listening yeah. to a podcast you know yeah. other than ours unless you listen to right ours, yeah unless of you course <laughs> keep it on <laughs> right but <laughs> but you know uh just just taking that moment to kind of you know not have any noise and just run through your thoughts like hey am i am i good am i happy am i right. this am i that yeah i am cool right um, I would say another thing, man, that I'm thankful for is just family. Yeah. You know, we we spoke on the last episode, like I got engaged this year. I found out right. my brother's having a baby. Right. You know, right. the family's getting bigger. I right. mean, there, there's a lot to be thankful for. Right. You know, there's a yeah. lot of evolution going on around us. Right. Um, and then I would say last, my, my third thing would be is, man, this podcast. Right. You know, my relationship with you. Right. Even, right. You know, we've gotten yeah. closer. Yeah, Our bond yeah. has gotten stronger. Yep. You know, and we're taking risks and we're trying to put ourselves in positions, man, to to really uh, take this thing to the next level. Yeah. You know, and that yeah. requires, you know, a bond that right. requires, you know, work. Work. So, yep. man, I appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you, you know, dog. Yep. And everything that we've been able to do this year so far. Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely. Um, How about yourself, man? Let's get three out of you. Oh, three. Three. So three. Three things I'm thankful uh -huh. for. You know, I'm going to be it's it's going to be similar to yours, man. Family, mm -hmm. um, you. And, um, man, do I have a third one? Yeah, life in general. Life in general, man. I feel like, for me, life is good. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, whenever somebody asks, you know, hey, how's it going? Mm -hmm. It's going great, man. Mm -hmm. You know, like, of course, there's issues. There's, everybody has problems. But right. for me, the problems are very minimal. And the only problems that I worry about are things that I can control anyway. Right. So, yeah. uh, for me, you know, those three things are... That's what keeps me like, yeah, life is good, man. You know, mm -hmm. everybody's still alive. Everybody's still mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. People who want to be around are around. Yep. You know, this is, we got this going. I mean, this is, this is dope, you yep. know, so, yeah, for sure, you know, man. so then, for and sure. then, you know, obviously that all ties into life in general. So, um, yeah, I mean, those, you know, it's pretty easy, man, to like wake up and, you know, even if you write down a list of things you're thankful for, it'll, or the good things that are going on right now, it'll normally or should outweigh mm -hmm. whatever bad is going on unless right. unless you're writing down things you can't control you know right like, yeah then you yeah then obviously you could it could probably the list could be to <laughs> teeter a little bit yeah but sure. um but no and then uh some of the ways that i kind of stay stay on myself about it is mm -hmm. uh things that we've talked about uh, even with rio is like just staying in in the gym mm -hmm. eating right mm -hmm. um and then exercising your mind too, you know, reading, yep. listening to audio. Yeah. Um, I feel like if if you're doing those things every, maybe not every day, but at least a few times a week, it'll still keep you. Yeah. On Grounded. Point. Yeah. yeah. It'll still yeah, keep you keep on you point. Keep you disciplined. Yeah. Right. Because I mean, I think ultimately that's really what you know, discipline equals freedom. Right. So it's it's such a simple concept, but it's one of the hardest things for anybody to do. You know, just to remain consistent. You know. Yeah. Three times out of the week isn't a lot, but to somebody that's never done it before, it's over. Yeah. It can be overwhelming. Yeah, it know? seems it seems hard. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it seems hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it, you know, thankful for. I guess you have this on here too. So we're checking the notes. Mm -hmm. So opportunities, man. I think, I think some sometimes those are taken for granted a little bit. True. Because maybe it's not the opportunity you wanted. Right. But you don't know where that opportunity was gonna go. Right. You know. And you know, speaking to one of the one of the things that uh, that Tanzi said was, you know, he man, he was driving all around L.A. Right. connecting with creators, right? Simply because he just wanted to get his name out there, get yeah. his brand out there, yeah. And he was not getting paid, right? right? And who knows how long he did that for? I can't I can't remember the exact I think it was, of time. I think it was like six to eight months or something like that. Right, he said. which is which something is, like that. Yeah, that's, that's a long that's time. A long time to, yeah. to not be compensated for your for the work that you put in, right? But now he's in a position where that's you know reaping rewards and benefits, and even like with yourself, right? You know, with coaching, right? You mentioned that hey, man, you know. I got to put my time in first. Right. And then these other opportunities, these other doors are now open because of that, because right. I made that sacrifice. Right. You know? Yeah. And I think that's the key, man. So like whoever's out there on the grind, you know, it's that's or hustling. It's like you got to put in the time first. Mm hmm. The time's got to be put in first before something starts coming back. Yep. You know, yep. And, and if um 
if you're not willing to do that or if you can't understand that concept, then it is going to be hard and you're mm-hmm. going to quit or you're going to try to find the next thing, you know, yep. and then that's our biggest to tie into that. You know, it's like if you and I, for example, right, we did this podcast, right? We mm-hmm. we're, how, we're 36 episodes in, mm-hmm. you know, we could easily be like, man, we're not we're not this. We're not that. We're not getting these views. We're not getting these views. All right. Can't. You're out, Malcolm. You're out, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go try. <laughs> I'm gonna go yeah. try to find somebody else yeah. who can give me the views. Yeah. But that, and I think that's where life has all of us yes. in this like chokehold of like. Yes. 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 Like, all right, this ain't working. Yeah. And I'm gonna go over here now. You yeah. know. But and that that we always think that the grass is greener, right? Right. So staying in that space where you're you're staying persistent and resilient, right? You know? We keep pumping out episodes. We keep pumping out right. content because we know it's it's a long game. Yeah, you know it's not it's a it's a it's a marathon, not a sprint. You know, right. shout out to rest in peace, Nipsey. But right, Nipsey. you know it is yep. a marathon. The marathon continues. So yeah. Yeah. it's just a matter of staying locked in, you know. But it it's it comes with it comes with its its ups and its downs. You know, yeah. there's times where I'm sure for the both of us, man, even with this podcast, the intrusive thoughts start coming in. Well, oh, maybe yeah. maybe we should stop. Well, maybe right. you know. But then right after that, you and I have both said to each other, like, this is a ten year thing. Right. right. Easily, this is a ten year thing. Yeah. You know, when we look at it like that, now it's not so intimidating. No, it ain't. You know, and yeah. this is only this hasn't even been officially year one yet. Right. So, you know, we right. do, we recommend that to the people that are watching, to the people that are listening, whatever it is that you're doing, just stick with it. You yeah. know, don't give up on yourself. Uh, don't give up if you've got somebody that you're doing it with. Don't give up on them. Yeah. You know, just keep working through it, man. And keep putting the work in. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we're, I mean, we're all going to struggle with mm-hmm. certain things. So, mm-hmm. um, it's all going to take time, man. Mm-hmm. So that's why, yeah, like you said, put a, put a time limit. Don't put a year on. I think, I think a year is, is almost too, you too know, short, too right? short, man. Yeah. A year, a year goes by quick, really quick. You know, real especially quick. the older you get, right? Yeah, the older you get, a year goes by so quick, man. That, uh, you, I feel like the year, first year or two, maybe it's just full of mistakes. Like it's mm-hmm. just, mm-hmm. you may have small wins, mm-hmm. you know. And, but, and this applies in, in multiple facets of your life, right? Right. Your job, yep. your relationship with your partner, yep. Your relationship with yourself, your yep. relationship with your kids, yeah. You know, all of it is yeah. work. Yeah, it's all work, man, and and that's why, like you said, checking in. Mm-hmm. We mentioned checking in with yourself. Then I mentioned, you know, just being having healthy habits, or you know, whether yeah. it's exercise and eating. Yeah. What would be a third way you think we could give them, or maybe you're using, hmm. to stay locked in throughout the hmm. year? Because those are two big ones, two big ones I think that we've already mentioned. You know, checking in, hmm. healthy habits. I'm trying to think of what, what what's the third one I use. Taking time off. Time off. Yeah, that's a good because, one. Because yeah, you're so used to, you know, like you said, a year goes quick, right? Right. A lot can happen in a year. Mm-hmm. If you have a home, there's projects that need to be done, right? If you have kids, you got to spend time with your kids. Right. You have sports. You right. have all these things pulling you in all these different places. Yeah. But you all there there comes a point for everybody where you need to take a vacation. Yep. You know, if it, even if it's for a day where you just don't do anything or three right. days, take a quick little weekend getaway yeah. so that you can kind of process and take that time to reflect. You know, because right. if you don't, you're just you're, you're on the hamster wheel 24 yeah. seven and the days just blend together. Right. And you look up one day and you're like, OK, it's it's de- it's December 31st. Right. You know, years over. What did I get and done? What did I what did I do? You yeah. know, which I'm sure you probably so like did a, a lot. You Yeah. I'm you sure you probably do. got a lot done. Yeah. But mentally, I don't know how you're gonna push through that next year. Right, 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 you know? right, right. Because um, even like these, even professional athletes take off the summer. Usually. Exactly, exactly, and they play at the high. I mean, you you got to figure what it takes to play at that high of a level. Right, right, and the the mentality and the discipline that you have to have to even stay there. Let alone right. get there, but to stay there. Right. What are yeah. What are a couple ways that when you take time off, um, or a couple things that you do when you take time off, where mm-hmm. it's like, all right. I'm off, and then these are the things that I do, so I don't have to just to free my mind of whatever else is going on. I, I try to stay off of social media, okay. right? Stay off yeah. your phone, you know. Um, when's the like for example? When just just a quick question yeah. for you? Yeah. Yeah. When's the last time you left your phone at the house and you just left it there? I don't think I've ever left my phone at the house, dude. <laughs> 
And like, yeah, the last, I can't remember the last time I left my phone at the house. Yep. To be honest. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We always have it with us, right? Yeah, it's always. But like if I'm on vacation or something like that, like I may, you know, just set my phone over there and just leave it. Yeah. Be. You know, I may ha- come back, you know, miss texts, miss calls, et cetera. But right. I try to stay off the phone because I, I, I realize that most of 90% of the time I'm using it for my career, for the podcast, something involving, you know, something that I'm doing. So right. putting it down for a second gives me time to kind of reconnect with myself, you yep. know, reconnect with my fiance, yeah. give her some more one-on-one time. Yeah. You, know, you don't really think about it, but man, even in one, in, in, in a day, days go quick. Yeah, right? days quick. So between you waking up, you going to work, Right. You know, you're doing something for your side business, doing something for your actual career. Right. You get home at night. There's not a lot of time left. Nope. You know? So, yeah, yeah man, that would be my uh, that would be my Stay recommendation. Stay off the phone, man. Get yourself some vacation time. Right. You know, um, maybe a little bit of solitude. Read a book. Yeah. You know, go be out in nature. I'm big on pushing nature. Nature. Yeah, yeah. being out in nature, man. I feel like if, if you're out, man, at a lake or a pond or you know, walking through a forest or something like that, that you can kind of, I don't know. It, it, for, for me, it, it, it kind of helps me gather my thoughts and get in that space where I can kind of check in with myself. Right. right. You know, it's calming. It's peaceful to me. Yeah. To me, it is. No, so. I agree with that. Like, I, I feel like I needed, like when I was uh, thinking about this episode, um, and then you mentioned nature, it's like, man, when we were kids, mm-hmm. we were always outside. Exactly. Right. And then like, cause I look at mine, and they're not always outside. They don't, they don't even, yeah. Yeah. Unless you tell them to go outside, Unless right? you tell them to go outside, yeah. right? You know, I'm like, go play with the leaves or something. So yeah. I, I think for this next year, mm-hmm. some of what I realized this year is that I'm not outside enough. Yeah. So, um, you know, going going into next year or uh-huh. even, you know, finishing out this year, mm-hmm. that would be something that I recommend because I, I do feel like when I just sit outside sometimes, it's just, even if they're just riding a bike, it's just like. Peaceful. Yeah, there's like nothing. Yep. At that point, my phone's inside. Yep. You know, I'm not even. Yep. Yeah, you're not it. even thinking yeah, about it. Yeah, it's like, yeah. all right, cool. Just being present. Yeah, I think yeah. that's that's definitely a good way to just the phone off and then. Yeah, for sure. Being outside, enjoying, enjoying nature. For sure, for sure, for sure. Now I got a good question for you. In this year, just on a personal level, right? What would you say you're most thankful for for yourself? For myself, mm-hmm. I would say I would say the the consistency to be to be more consistent so being more consistent is what i would say Mm -hmm. is that i felt like this year and i give it credit to you and um and actually you know alex and nick and the guys Mm -hmm. here because Mm -hmm. um what we did and then where where we're at now Mm kind of gave that push to why you need to be more consistent and then it was able to translate into other things for sure so that every week you know, it's just like Chris Paul says, it's like, you're just, you you know, we're stacking. He says you stack days. Mm-hmm. So I've just been thinking we've been stacking weeks. Mm-hmm. So that way, if I miss a day, mm-hmm. I know I got seven days, you know. Mm-hmm. So I've been just, we've been just stacking weeks. Yeah. So I think being consistent, man, that was that was probably the biggest thing um, I noticed out of myself this year. But it wasn't all credit to me. It was, you know, the people who are, who are around us right now. Mm-hmm. So that's why mm-hmm. when I thought back to, you know, like, man, who, you know, What's this year? You know, a review. Yeah. You know, then that's when I noticed. I'm like, okay, this is where we got it. We got to stay locked in then. For sure. For sure. What about you, man? Yeah, I would say, uh, man, on a personal level, I think. uh, I think just being more honest with myself this year. I think Mm. this is one of those years, man, where I've been more honest with myself than I've ever been. Like in a... uh, just in a very uh, raw way. Yeah. You know, and going back to like what I what I mentioned, and you know, I had sent you a video on that, on right. this concept or on this idea that, you know, for those of us that are self-improvement junkies that are always, you know, trying to improve, that are always thinking, okay, I need to do this, I need to do that, I want to implement this, I want to implement that. When, when you mess up or when you have to take a step back, you're so hard on yourself, right? right? And in the past, I used to say, okay, I have to be this way right? because because <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like it, nobody's going to be, you know, uh, on you the way that you're on you. You know, right. you have to hold yourself to a high low, a high standard, a high right. level of accountability. Right. But then the other side of that, like we talked about, is that 
it's not good for you, your psyche, for you to yeah. beat yourself up, for you to not yep. give yourself grace. Yeah. Right. And it becomes this uh, this cycle of kind of uh, self sabotage almost to an extent. Right. Right. But learning to love yourself in the process. Right. Of becoming a better version of yourself. Right. By giving yourself grace. By right. saying like, hey, I'm better than I was yesterday. Right. And that's that's all I need to worry about. I yeah. can't focus on five years from now, ten years from now. Just be better than I was yesterday. Right. You know. So yeah, being aware, being aware of myself in that way, I'm thankful for. Um, something else, you know, to add on to that is that we've been able to have Rome, Arela, the guys from Always Vibin', yeah, um, Zach, Rio, right, Kimberly, yeah, um, Tanzi, um, Trinil, yeah, um, Nick, Nick, um, yeah. Um, Oh, you're talking about all the guests. All, the guests, all the guests, man. Yeah. All the guests that we've been able to bring on. And, you know, I apologize if I'm forgetting any of you. It's just not coming to my head yeah, at the Nita, moment. I feel like Nita, Nita and Nancy over at Nancy Nita, over Nita. there. You know, uh, we want to give a Q. shout out to Q. Yep. yep. Q over at Catherine's Place, QT3. Um, Cottonseed, uh, Yvonne. Oh, yeah, Yvonne, Cottonseed. You know? yep. So, and, and all of these are local Aurora people. You know, for the most part, except for Tanzi, you know, he's he's out in L.A. now with the yeah, but you know, he's, he, no, he's, he's, a, he's 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 an idiot. He's an idiot. <laughs> but yeah. no, I, outside of that, I mean, all of the guests that have come on this show, we truly, from the bottom of our hearts, want to say thank you. You know, because yeah. without you guys coming on, we wouldn't have been able to grow it in, to the extent that we've grown it now. And we're yeah. not, you know, the, the super huge platform, but I'm proud of the the followers and the viewers that we do have. Yeah, we had a thousand downloads not yeah. too long ago. Yeah, that was pretty dope. So, you know, yeah, just being okay. thankful for all that, man. Just yeah. Just thankful for all that and staying humble in it. Yeah, definitely, man. What what would you say you're most thankful for out of all the guests that you learned or were able to be like, man, I, I'm I'm thankful that we had all these guests on there. I think I think the fact that they've all shown that you have to go through things. Right. In order to succeed. Right. Right. So it's it's usually we're, we all have a similar story, you know, yeah. of getting knocked down and getting back up. But right. just that reminder that, hey, this is the only way. This right. This is the only way to get to where you're really trying to go to. Right. You know, it comes with pain. It comes with hardship. Yeah. It comes with mistakes. Yep. You know, and to hear their mistakes and to hear them admit them right. as well, you know, because it's yeah. sometimes it's not easy to admit, you know, this nah. is where I messed up. I made a wrong step here. I made right. a wrong step there. Yeah. You know? Yeah, what about that, you? Man? That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say like the the risks that a lot of them have had to take. Yeah. You know, from you know Justin flying mm -hmm. out to Miami. Yeah. And like oh, yeah. Tanzi shout flying. Out yeah. Shout out to yeah. Justin. Yeah. And then you know Tanzi flying out to L.A. You know, and um, and then just seeing how they stayed consistent. Yeah. So like that's when, when when we were like halfway in, you know, I was like, man, so there's a common theme here. You know, that all these, they may not be the biggest right now, right. but they've been at it for a while. Right. So I'm like, that's that's key number one. Yep. You know, we can't drop all the keys, but key number one yeah. that it, that we've learned as the year's going to wrap up is going to be consistency. Yep. And, and then when you take a step back, if you think about all the things that you're doing now, mm -hmm. have you been consistent? in the things that you've had had success in and if the answer is yes then obviously that's the reason why exactly you know what what did you do to get to where you're at if you you know um what's the word i'm looking for um i can't think of the word but like if you're a, uh what, what, alignment no it's like when you when you're starting when you start in one place uh-huh and then you you go back to where you started in the beginning but you're able to reflect yeah, maybe reflect or uh, uh you know, take the steps backwards to yeah, like yeah. re engineer. Oh, reverse there, engineer. Reverse, reverse engineer. engineer. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, okay. I, I, I got you. Yeah, no, so reverse right. engineer. Yeah, no, reverse, yeah, yeah for if, sure. you, if you could do I mean, if you could do that with a lot of yeah, a lot of things, you'll be like, Okay, I can I can kind of figure out the next thing out. For sure, for sure, for yeah. sure. And that's a skill. Skill revert looking at it because yeah, that's a that's a really great point. Um, yeah, rather than looking at it from I have to start from here to get to there. Right. It's okay. That's where I want to be. Right. Work, my, work back. That that's a great point. Yeah. That's let me work. Point. Let me work back to where to where I need to to yeah. go. And yeah. that was, um, 
that that was a actual a concept that we took for or that I took from uh the book the Gary Keller's book the one thing he talks nice. about reverse engineering your goals yeah and um that's still I actually got to go reread that book yeah because I read it once that's one of the beautiful things about books but, right yeah. is is you the more times you read them right the more times you catch those little gems the, man yeah the gems yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, so that's why I haven't bought like I've only bought one new book, but I think I'm gonna have to go back and reread the ones I already have because I did read them and I took notes. Mm -hmm. But I think I gotta go back and mm -hmm. grab some of the things that just kind of like watching a movie. You almost yeah, you, know, no, you yeah. kind of know all the parts, but you gotta reread it again. Yeah, yeah, and brush um, up on it. Yeah, brush up on it. But um, but yeah, man. I mean, Thanksgiving is upon us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What uh. What what it what does your family do? Do you guys have like a big big event or you know turkey? What you know what is a yeah we do we do what like does it look a, like over there yeah we look we do like a, usually we do it at my cousin's house you know he yeah. has a pretty nice size home with a decent amount of space we don't have a lot of family yeah it's about ten of us so yeah you know it's a it's a it's a it's perfect for us you know okay and it's so we we started doing this yet last year the members in our family that are older are uh they're in their 60s now yeah. late 50s 60s so the younger generation or the next generation that comes after which is myself and my two cousins yeah. we're kind of taking the passing of the torch if you will when wow. it comes to hosting and preparing the food and cooking and doing all oh, that. that's cool yeah yeah so yeah. like my my cousin came up with the name he calls us he's like a, a star wars nerd <laughs> so he calls us the c3po's oh, okay you know and that's just like uh that's our little nickname and we've yeah. got you know aprons that we that we wear that we're probably gonna oh, put like cool. a nickname on it you know just yeah. to, just to, um how do you say it like uh just to add a little bit more fun to it yeah you know and it's also i mean we're, we're just thankful man that we can even do this for our for our aunts and for our uncles right. and for our grandparents you know yep. for years man they made all the food they they had the spot even, yeah, yeah you know and they they yep. they made sure everybody came everybody eat everybody had a good time so right now that we're at that next stage of our lives, it's time for us to take the take, take the, the torch, man, and kind of give yeah. back to them. You know, yeah. so it's beautiful to see. But yeah, that's that's dope, man. Yeah. yeah, but we cook we cook the same thing, man, that everybody else cooks. You know, turkey. You, turkey you know, you know yeah. um, I don't know how we're gonna do it this year. We'll either deep fry it or you know throw it in the oven. Have yeah. you ever had a deep fried turkey? No, I'm not a big fan of uh, the turkey on Thanksgiving. Like I like turkey, yeah. but I don't like thanksgiving turkey I sometimes it's, it's too I much don't, i don't know what it is man yeah. so we make uh we make ribs instead uh -uh. of like for the people who don't want turkey uh -huh. so i you know i take some ribs cool and mashed potatoes and corn you know cool. keep it like that cool 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 you guys um, do the stuffing and the cranberry sauce yeah we yeah because my dad likes that stuff yeah ham okay. you know okay. we you know we throw all that in there Cran um, cranberry is one of those things like you either love it or you or you people hate right. it <laughs> right right <laughs> you know and they pull that can out and they yeah. get those slices there Throw on the up. table yeah, yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up, man. I thought your family was a little bigger. Ten, no, ten, not on uh, my dad's side. No, not on my dad's on side. Your dad's on dad's side. My mom's side, obviously they're they're bigger, bigger but they're yeah, all yeah. in Mexico, you know. So and I haven't I don't think I've ever spent a Thanksgiving over there, yeah. to be honest with you. Um my fiance, her family's huge. Yeah, I was gonna say so, like it might be a bigger party this so year. So it is, yeah. So we'll be going from <laughs> we'll be going from my small little, you yeah. know, shindig to you know to the big fiesta the, exactly yeah well it'll be like 100 people you know in one house what that's what it feels like yeah i know, bet with all the I kids bet. and everybody i bet yeah. so yeah. but i'll be kicking my feet up watching whatever football game is on oh yeah that's true yeah. that's, that's football game yeah football yeah, game. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. what Man. about you you guys going over your wife's family too or are uh, you guys just doing no nah, we usually just go to my mom's and mm -hmm. then um we may we may make a pit stop depending on where it's at over on the other side gotcha you know but normally we're just at my mom's but i got to work this year at night ah so um we may we may not do it on thursday uh -huh. we may do it on friday mm -hmm. okay so um yeah. so a little change up you know but that's not bad because i mean that way you get friday Saturday. you got saturday off or yeah no? yeah yeah, oh, I got, nice. yeah yeah, nice. yeah i got the we got the weekend off so uh we may we may alter the day a little bit um mm -hmm. but it all depends i don't know it just all depends so nice but yeah that's man nice. but um but that's what's up man that's uh that that's good so for everybody who's having thanksgiving plans i think we'll have one more episode out yeah we'll have one before more then but before um thanksgiving and uh that one to be a good episode yeah that one that we got a nice surprise guest for you guys mm. coming next week yep um i think you guys will be shocked at who it is uh but he's uh he's 
no yeah, we won't we than, won't give it away though yeah we won't give it we no, won't I'm give it gonna, away i'm not gonna give it away yeah. but i'm just gonna say that you know he's no different than any of the guests that we brought on before you know he's hard working he's made mistakes mm -hmm. you know but where he's gotten to now yeah i'm is, actually is excited to hear his story man. man he's he's a really cool guy yeah. man. he's a really cool guy and yeah. uh he's he's very humble he's not you know like uh you know, sometimes, man, you you meet people and their ego and their pride right. is, you know, th you know, it's humongous. It's like right. Mount Everest. But no, man, he's a very humble guy, willing to talk to you, man, speak with you, chop it up yeah. with you. So yep. yeah, you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah, you're gonna enjoy the combo, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, yep. man, I Let's think that's all we got up. for today. So all hit right. him with that outro. We want to thank you guys for always watching and listening to the Electus podcast, and we want to remind you again: if you could do three, if you could just go in the comment section below. And write down three things that you are thankful for, whether that be your family, whether that be your friends, whether that be your job, whether that be your partner, whatever it may be. Just write down three things that you're thankful for. We would greatly appreciate it. We'll see you guys on episode 37. Peace. Peace.